Hey everybody, in this video we're going to take a quick look at how you can create an easy 3D countdown timer in Unreal Engine's motion design tools. So uh, yeah, let's get started. I'm going to start out with a new level, so right click and level, and I'll call this uh, demo level, and control S to save it, and double click to open it. All right, so there's nothing in here at all. We'll activate motion design and we'll create defaults. In this case, I'm going to use all the defaults, including the directional light. So I spawn everything. And then we just need a text actor. So I'll go to our actors palette, double click on text actor to add that, and then select it in our outliner. Here, I'm going to make a few adjustments to the text just in the way it looks. And so I will uh, speed this up. You're welcome to slow down the video to see what I did. Okay, so now I've got a nice bit of text here and it's got an extrude and a bevel and that's linear. Now I wanna go into my content browser and I set up favorites for materials here. This is just the uh, twin motion materials that you can get free from the fab space now. And I will also go ahead and uh, just use some metals. So I'll double click on the metals folder. I like to use the uh, this little diamond plate for the main face. And I think I'm going to use uh, red here for our bevel material and blue for the extrusion. And there we go. So there's my little uh, recipe for that uh, look at the text that we were working on. So now all we need to do is get the timer itself going on this text. And to do that, I need to use my operator stack to add an animation modifier. So I'll activate the operator stack. And here in operator stack, I'm going to animators and I'm gonna add an animator. I've got the text actor selected. I'm gonna add a clock. And here I'm going to link the property to the text. So I'll click on add text and I'm just going to assign that to all. And by default, we have a world clock going here. So I'm going to change this to a manual clock and I'll start out at, uh, let's say five minutes. So 5M enter and oh, that came out as seconds. So let's say five minutes. There we go. So now it is five minutes long. Now the format that we're seeing includes hours, minutes, and seconds. And if you hold your mouse over this word here where it says display format, you get a cheat sheet of all the various codes that you can use uh, with percentage and a letter to uh, designate different aspects of date and time to be shown in this. And I just want the minutes and seconds. So I'm just going to delete the colon and the percent capital H for hour. And now I just have a five minute countdown clock and I'm at five minutes right now. So I will go in my sequence and I will uh, add this custom time to the sequence and so I'm at uh, 300 here and so if I want this to count down to zero I'm going to need 300 frames so I'll go ahead to frame 300 by clicking here and typing 300 and then setting that as the end of our sequence and here I want to set my custom time to zero now there's a little bit of an issue with these two keys. By default, they ease in, ease out uh, using animation principles. So I need these both to be linear. Otherwise, our clock is going to start slow and then speed up, and then it's going to end slow. So I will right click on this keyframe and set that to linear, and I will right click on this keyframe and set that to linear. I could have done that by just selecting uh, both of those like this and right clicking and setting them to linear, but now we've got a linear animation. If I look at the graph editor uh, and select this track it will see that it is linear and so we start out at five minutes and I hit play and this counts down uh, it's counting down really fast because I have uh, 300 frames at 30 frames a second so basically at 60 frames we've only we've used up an entire minute so I need probably 6,000 frames Go to the end there and I will drag the end of my clock to here. And so in theory at uh, 3000 frames, we should be seeing, yeah, 2.30. Great. So uh, there is our countdown clock. And now we could either render this with our movie render queue, or we could, of course, incorporate this into a rundown. And so I hope this helps. Until next time, have fun.